Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that will be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. Uh, this lesson today is going to be all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, it's organic. Uh, whatever the spirit allows, that what I will speak upon. You know, and just gonna speak on some thoughts. You know, um, so many going on, man. <laughs> so much is going on. Where can I start? Look at the price of gas, man. Okay, the price of gas has literally went through the roof okay it's ridiculous gas price is very high but guess what let it get even higher call the Lord like Yahweh Hashem Shai <laughs> because guess what these devils want to get rid of cars man they want you all walking on your feet okay they want to they want to they want to get they want to get those hybrid vehicles okay but, um, yeah, they're taking time crashing this economy. Gas prices are skyrocketing. And then, you know, for all you jakes who, who, who voted for Sleepy Joe, man, you, you, you getting exactly what you wanted. You all still believe in the system. You all still going down to Egypt looking for help, man. Okay? There's a scripture that says we've, we've looked to a nation that could not help us, man. Okay, you are still going down to Egypt looking for uh, 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 help from the strength of Pharaoh, man. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't, y'all ain't calling on the Most High Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Y'all taking counsel, but not of the Lord. Okay, as a matter of fact, let me grab that scripture, man. But the gas prices are very high, and y'all still believe in this Babylon juice, man. <laughs> y'all still believe in this Babylon juice. Still believe in old Sleepy Joe and, 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 and Kamala. <laughs> oh, man, the weaker vessel. Okay? And they're doing everything in their power. Thinking they're doing something to Russia by talking about, you know, stop buying their products or stop using their oil. They're hurting the American people. They ain't really hurting Russia. They're hurting you. Okay? Y'all voted for Sleepy Joe. Right? Let's grab this real quick. This is Isaiah chapter 30. You know, we got to try to interject some scriptures in here. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. It says, Woe. Woe means destruction. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they might add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Okay? The modern day Egypt is, is America today. The daughter of Babylon. Babylon the Great. Okay? That's America today. Because this place, according to Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8, this place is known as spiritual Egypt and Sodom and Gomorrah. Alright? Why? Because here is the place that we were, that we are held captive. And this place is full of Sodomites and, 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 and that kind of lifestyle. The alphabet lifestyle. Okay? Verse 3, it says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. So you're going to be confused, man. You're going to be confounded, okay, for trusting in Egypt, man, and not and not taking counsel of the Lord. You're supposed to take counsel of the Lord, man. The scriptures say we ought to obey the Most High rather than men. But our people, y'all still believing in Sleepy Joe, okay? Gas prices through the roof. Okay, I can imagine, and, 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 and this, remember the war in Ukraine going on right now, 
the harder that get, the high, the higher price gas price is gonna keep just keep going up, man. Right now we we are approaching seven dollars, well seven dollars in California, right? It's about it's about it's about six and some change or seven in California if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you can't say we're not there. By the time it's next month, who knows where we're gonna be, right? Who knows who we, where we're gonna be, man? Right? So, <laughs> and in the next month or two from now, because of that same war, okay, who knows where we're gonna be then? Now, we know a uh, 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 hot World War III can't, it's not gonna begin until they uh, make that, uh, that karagma, the MO to the TB, uh, mandatory. Once that's made mandatory, you know you should know what I'm speaking about. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. Okay, when that once that made once that made mandatory, the men of the Lord are going to rejoice, man, because we know what it means. Okay, we know what it means. Then things are going to begin to speed up. Okay, the ushering in of of, of the kingdom, man. Things things are going to uh, begin to speed up, man. Second Ezra the 15 chapter. Okay, Second Ezra the 16 chapter. All of those things are going to start coming into play. Jacob's trouble. Okay? Uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Okay? Them things are going to start coming into play once the karagma is made mandatory, man. Okay? So as time go on, as time push on and time progress on, things are going to become more tighter. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to get put out of your comfort zone. You're getting put out of your comfort zone right now. What 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 sleepy Joe? I'm talking about right now. Oh, you don't even gotta wear your mask no more. That's another thing. They pulling back the uh, the, the mandates, right? They they they, they so call themselves pulling back the mandates. But what the what 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 you even say it in the world? A calm before the storm, right? But what what the scriptures say? Okay, let's go to it. All right, let's go to um. Let's go to um. What's that? First Thessalonians. Let's go to First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter and the third verse. Let's read that. It says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay, they pull them back all these mandates, right? But then you don't know when something could kick off right now. Anything can happen. You know? False flag, anything. Something with this war with going on in Ukraine, or some false flag anywhere in the world. They keep talking about these um, uh, cyber attacks and all these different things. Hey, bro. All we can see is they taking time. They taking time uh, um, um, tearing shit up, man. Tearing the place down. Because why? They want to bring in that that, 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 that new system, man. Okay? They want to go into that, that, that digital currency, man. And get rid of the fiat currency. Get rid of the paper dollar. You know? Something, something, something that happened where you ain't gonna be able to use cash no more in the future. That's, they wanna get rid of cash. You know? You, just like they, they've been having a run on the banks and people can't get their money out of the banks in certain, several different countries. You know? I see uh, a guy had an article there. It was being like, uh, bank runs in three different countries in one month. Bank runs. People run into the bank to take their money out of the bank. Okay? So, clearly, clearly, we in the end of days, man. It just, it just got to play out. And going back to this gas situation again, the gas is so high. The gas price is so damn high. And hey, what this guy is telling you, Sleepy Joe, you must, uh, 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 Say the people too comfortable uh, working at home now. They need to start going back to work. <laughs> they need to start driving back to work to into the downtowns of your different respective cities. You need to start driving back to work. Now, who you think will want to drive back to work with all with the gas price at high, the way it's so high right now? You know what I'm saying? Well, we know the Lord is going to take people out of their, their com out of their comfortability anyway. Well, who's this? Who is Sleepy Joe to tell you you need to go back to work? If you're comfortable from working at home, bro, the price of gas right now is ridiculous. But at the end of the day, we need these things to happen so we can get the kingdom. That's what the scriptures say. If these place, if these things don't happen, then we can't get the kingdom, you know? 
So, hey, make the Lord's will be done, man. Let the Lord's will be done, cause the Lord will, the Lord's will is going to be done regardless. All right, we have the mind of Hamashiach, man. What the Lord loves, we loves. What the Lord hates, we hates. Straight up. Okay, that's what it is. But Sleepy Joe trying to get you to drive back to work now. <laughs> but we got to remember that we are going to be taken out of our comfort zones. And that's why we rejoice. We can't wait until the time comes that we don't got to go to work no more. We can say, fuck work. We don't need to go to no work. You know, we want the rest. We want our rest in the kingdom. Okay, we, want, we don't continue being slaves forever. In Babylon system. You know, in Esau system. No. We want to be the rulers and the kings and the priests that we were meant to be. You know, I don't want Rathis I'm a part of that special number of the elect, of the hopeful elect. You know, so all willing, I pray for brothers and a few sisters that believe in the truth. You know, and we say, hopefully, like, humbly speaking, you know, wanting to be a part and praying and hoping and, you know, saying, Lord willing. But trying to do all that I could do to put my best foot forward, you know. Praying for the brothers and the sisters that believe in this truth and believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, that we could be saved out of this place, man. You know. But hey, uh, yeah, man, um, there's a lot going on, man. When you look at it, when you look at it, I mean, just a lot of traps and snares are being set behind behind the closed door. Or the people who rulership and the people who run in things, man. And you know, they have it disguised as many different things, you know. Meanwhile, gas is going up and now Putin and Russia is the new boogeyman. Ain't no more the Royal Crown 19. They always it's always it's always a new boogeyman. You know, so they're gonna ride this Putin Russia wave now <laughs> for what is worth for as long as well. As much as they could get done under that, they're gonna do. You know how the devil get down. You know, as much as they could ride it. What they say, never let a good crisis go to waste. So as much as they could get done under that until the next, until the next uh, boogeyman. <laughs> you know, that's how they do it, man. And use their sorcery through the media to tell lies and fabricate stuff so they could get they wicked um, agendas um, cross man a cross get it you know get it done some kind of how under this under the guise of something that you could see in your face in the news that look one way but behind closed doors and under the surface they doing different things to get their agenda across using that crisis as the boogeyman and as the reason why they're doing certain things you know but hey, at the end of the day, the Lord is in control of all things, man. And the Lord's will is going to be done. You know? And once again, what the Lord wants is what we want. And that's why we preach the Lord, the, the, the words of the Lord. You know? To give to give a warning to the people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who are Israelites. Speaking to you first and foremost, man. Okay? But the other nations, too, letting them know. Their judgment, you know, for coming up against the children of Israel, the apple of the Lord's eye. Scriptures say, he that touches the, apple, uh, the apples of the Lord's eye, right? He that touches you, touches the apple of his eye. You know, you're going to have to pay for that, man. Okay? These different nations, you know, they led us into captivity. They're going to have to be led into captivity, man. And that's, that's it, plain and simple. You know, the scripture says the righteous thing with the most high to recompense tr uh, tr uh, tribulation to them that trouble thee, man. Okay? Roughly paraphrase. So at the end of the day, he that lead into captivity, captivity shall go into captivity, man. So we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't tripping over these things that we see happening because we know what the scriptures say. If, if certain things don't happen, then we the kingdom don't come. So these things must be, man. All right? These things must be so we can get the kingdom of heaven. All right, let me read this real quick. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 4 and verse 28. It says, But as concerning the things whereof thou hast asked me, I will tell thee, for, for the evil is sown, but destruction thereof is not yet come. Okay, this is Ezra, the prophet, talking to the angel. It says, If therefore that which is sown be not turned 
upside down. And if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. Okay? So we need, okay? We need the destruction, man. We need that to happen, man. We need that to come for the kingdom to come. Thus said the Bible, thus said the Lord, man. This is the words of the Lord. All right? The kingdom of heaven ain't gonna come until these things be done, man. All right? So when you read down, you jump down to verse 37, it tells you until... It says, 2 Ezra chapter, 30, chapter 4 and verse 37, it says, By measure had he measured the times, and by number had he numbered the times, and he don't not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. And that's the reason why the kingdom ain't going to come before the destruction comes. The destruction got to come first, you see? And that's why we rejoice, because we know, say, when we see certain things happening, we know, say, hey, the time is pro approaching even more. That's what the scripture tells you. And then, and, 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 uh, what's that? Uh, Luke, the 21st chapter, where it says, look up for your redemption, draw it nigh. When you see the signs coming to pass, man, even 2nd Ezra, the ninth verse, it tells you that now. You know, 2nd Ezra 9 and verse 1, it says, he, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently within itself, in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, therefore, when thou shall be, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, we've been seeing that, then shalt thou shall well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the very, even from the beginning. Okay. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. We live in an end times. Verse 6. Even so the times also of the highest of plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Okay, so when you begin to see the signs, okay, let's get that in Luke. Okay, Luke chapter 21. All right, we can jump in here at about... Uh, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars upon... And upon the earth, distress of nation, nations with perplexity. Look what's going on in uh, Ukraine, between Ukraine and Russia, and all of these other countries wondering if what's going to happen, thinking about what's going to happen. Okay? And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and waves roaring, men's heart failing from failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory okay when when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw it nigh and that's what we saying man that's why we rejoice because we see now our redemption is drawing nigh we see that by looking at the prophecies, by measuring the time where we are, and seeing these things happening and coming to pass. So every time something happens, we're rejoicing, man. We're not upset at all. We just vex because we are that's that's because we you know we 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 suffering because we're not we we're not in this we in this world but we're not of this world. Because we know this world is polluted, man. The Micah, Micah 2 and 10 tell you that arise ye and depart, meaning in your mind. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is this ain't our rest. Our rest is gonna be in the kingdom. Alright? Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, for it is polluted, it says, and it will destroy you even with a sword destruction. So we know this place is polluted, man. Men and men together, woman and woman together. You know what I'm saying? Which is an abomination. Okay? And they keep pushing this agenda and they're pushing it to you and your kids on the to the TV and all this difference. Have you seen all these ads and commercial grown ass men kissing and shit? And they want they're just shoving it down the people in throat. Okay? So remember the, the, the Lord says Sodom and, Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah was made as an example, man. All right. So hey, that's it, man. When we see these things coming to pass, we rejoice in man, cause we know our redemption draw it, draw it nigh. All right. So with all the things going on with the world, keep praying, fast fasting if, when you can, you know, and keep tending on the Lord, man, and trying to be pleasing in His sight. Okay. So with that, I'm off to end it there. Hopefully you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.